in our previous tutorial, we saw how uh, we could uh, develop uh, an accelerated uh, flow uh, with uh, a vector add uh, application template. Uh, after creating a Peta Linux uh, operating system uh, based on the uh, uh, on the base platform for ZCU 102 that is uh, offered by Xilinx. Uh, and now what's left uh, is to examine in this uh, second tutorial uh, how we can build the actual hardware implementation that will run on, uh, on hardware. Uh, this is the project we have created uh, in our previous um, uh, tutorial. So we, uh, we place the cursor over the hardware uh, build and with right click select build. It will take some time so I pause the video and return back when it finishes. Okay, build has finished. Uh, you can see, see uh, here that uh, there are no error messages. Uh, all the ordinary descriptions uh, that we saw in uh, the previous tutorial, um, the corresponding messages appear again. So we can proceed this time uh, to the actual uh, run of the, uh, of the application uh, on real hardware. Uh, remember that uh, we have used the init uh, RAM FS uh, image module. Uh, we have to find all the uh, uh, all the uh, images built uh, here. You can see under the hardware uh, implementation in the file explorer uh, that there is. Uh, uh, a package uh, directory and within this package directory there is the SD card directory where these files uh, are the ones generated by the build process uh, that uh, has just finished and we will copy them in uh, the SD card. So I uh, right now I am uh, moving the SD card from the board to the SD card uh, reader and you see that it has appeared here. It's a 1.1 uh, gigabyte uh, volume, which holds the uh, the partition, the FAT32 partition, while the X4 partition is the root one, which is the rest of the 4 gigabytes uh, size of the SDRAM. Uh, although this root file system here will not be used, since we're gonna uh, use the the image is built uh, right now. I'm going to clear uh, the, uh, all these files, the previous files existing here in the SD card, and I'm going to um, I'm going to copy the the images that were just built, all of them in the workspace um, this is my project and this is the hardware directory where the build uh, has occurred and within the package there is the SD card okay I'm gonna copy all of these files in the boot partition There is something wrong. It seems that uh, it does not fit. But uh, uh, okay, uh, it's not a problem that uh, the, uh, the size is wrong. But it's rather we don't have uh, maybe the right to do this. Let's do it with a copy. Okay, so I will copy everything from here to this directory. Uh, 
it's strange because uh, it should fit. Okay, ah, okay, okay. Uh, the previous uh, delete was not uh, completely finished, probably. So let me delete all this right now. And let's do the copy again. Well, uh, the problem uh, seems that uh, is that there is uh, a directory uh, which holds all the files that I previously deleted. So let's uh, remove both the trash file, uh, directory. No, there's nothing within this. Uh, uh, boot partition. So I'll give it one more try. As we can see, the total size of the images is uh, 567 megabytes. Now everything has been copied. Here they are, all the uh, files. So we can uh, unmount the SD card. Device can be removed. So I can remove it from the SD card reader of my PC and uh, I place it now within the SD card slot of the ZCU uh, 107. I have connected uh, both uh, the uh, J83 and, uh, and J2 uh, connectors, USB connectors to my PC but what I need is basically uh, a new terminal where I will start a minicom uh, terminal. I set up the serial port. Uh, for the beta Linux I have built uh, sends messages using a UART uh, 0. So this is USB uh, 0. And I have to press F, okay, this, and then now I have to press F uh, to disable hardware flow control in order to be able to, to type uh, commands. So I press F, it's now uh, hardware flow control, no, enter, and uh, select exit. Now Minicom uh, accepts, uh, awaits, it rather awaits uh, for the ZCU to start. So uh, I turn on the board and uh, start to observe the messages produced in this terminal. 
the first message is the one that just appeared wait for a while and the next message will concern the ABF module Okay. What starts? We will leave, we let it uh, do auto boot. Right, the image has been loaded and the uh, kernel starts boot. Okay, and here's the login root and root as password we are in home root directory but we will move to slash nnt there are the two partitions uh, the partition where all these files on the top left uh, directory have been copied and this is sd partition one and here they are all the directories i copied earlier are here the first thing i have to do is to source the this uh, script here init.sh uh, in order to uh, have all the instructions both uh, executed uh, along with the export one I have to run source init.sh and be sure that it will find it in the current directory okay and here is also the Xilinx XRT that has been exported within this source file. Now I'm ready to run my program, my application. Its name is ZCU 102 min app, and the open and the argument uh, I have to give is the name of the XCL bin file, this one here. So uh, binary XCL bin. So I will just print press enter and see my uh, my application executed here it is test has passed my application has been completed successfully thank you very much for your attention